Manhattan Restaurant Weeks has been going on for five years, but this is the first year it's happening in New York City. Why is this so important? It's so important because New York City really is home to such a vibrant Latino culture. So we wanted to showcase all the amazing culinary businesses that exist here in our backyard. How many restaurants are participating and how does it work? Yeah, we have over 60 restaurants. People can go to our website. They can find delicious specials that are being offered. So we have coffee shops, bakeries, restaurants, prefix menus. There's something for everybody. And you're going to take me to some of the participating places today? Absolutely. So our first stop, Elisa's Love Bites. All right, let's go. Elisa, tell me about your shop. What do you sell here? So we are a dedicated gluten-free bakery. We specialize in stripped down desserts made with wholesome ingredients, nothing nasty, cleaner than your traditional bakery. And we use low glycemic sweeteners that are also natural. So there's nothing artificial, nothing harmful. We have our signature banging chocolate chip cookie. So that's the one that started the business. Oh my God, mm, that's really good. <laughs> that is the most moist gluten-free cookie I've this ever is had. This guilt-free, guys. <laughs> it is. <laughs> now for Latin Restaurant Week, what will you be serving? You're doing a special? Yes, it's called arroz leche geisha. So geisha coffee is the most expensive coffee bean in the world. It grows in Panama. It's very emblematic of our coffee culture. And arroz con leche is something that's very uh, popular in Latin culture. And I'm also of Chinese descent. And rice is a very big staple in both of my cultures. So that's why I chose to make that dessert. I love it. All right, so where'd you bring me now, Corinne? All right, well, we came to Calle Dao, one of New York City's only Chinese Cuban fusion restaurants. And there are quite a few of these around the city, but I've never been, so I'm very excited. I'm excited too. Okay. Let's dig in. So we serve a combination of uh, the both cuisine. We were trying to bring the traditional dish of ropa vieja that is served with rice and beans and just flip it over to the lo mein noodle, bring these two flavor together, or the Cuban spring roll. They are little Cuban sandwiches. Right. I like the spring roll as a vessel. Why was it important for you to bring Cuban Chinese cuisine to New York? I lived in Cuba in 99 and I just um, in Chinatown. And I realized that that story was such an incredible um, piece of uh, forgotten history that I wanted to bring it back to life and uh, bring the two community together. People these days are very distant. I think uh, we need a little more unification. And we need more understanding of each other's culture and, and, and trying try to be more positive about life. And then for Latin Restaurant Week, you're doing prefix menus. How does it work? You could choose appetizer like empanadas or the uh, Cuban spring roll, and then you pick one of the main course, and then there is also dessert. So, Corinne, where can we go to find all the participants for Latin Restaurant Week? Go to our website, latinrestaurantweeks.com.